Welcome to Ifaela Ministry. How is everybody doing today? We give honor to life in every way for making it possible for, her, for us to be able to have a word or two with one another again today. Alafia. Right, what are we to talk about today? Right, today what came to mind? The word we're talking about today is confession. Confession. Confession, as we know it to be, is to uh, speak forth something that you think you have done wrong, and by doing so, you feel innately that uh, you're free of the so called sin. Confession, as we know it to be, has so far not done the world any good. Energy keep giving us energy. What does that mean in essence? Is that life allow us to renew So confession as you as we as, as you know it to be as well is gives you room to like continue <laughs> CC confession continue to continue to create you know situation that is not gonna add value to your life and then you know Seemingly it will be okay if you go and tell somebody, it doesn't mean anyone, but you just put a name on this person now. And then immediately you tell that person, you know, uh, now that person could be called any other name you, you know what you call in, in the people who practice uh, confession, that's what I'm trying to say, you know how they do it. If you don't know how they do it, then go and do your research because I'm not going to talk about that. Because that's not really why I'm here. I'm here for Ifaila ministry and I move forward upon our lives and everyone who really has taken time out to know what Ifaila really means, you know. Uh, so that's how it works, you know. Just a, a person, particularly, it has to be uh, like a male figure, as we know it to be. They don't use female figure in this term. And place that person there, they'll call that person you know, representative of God or whatnot, and then you go and tell him what you've done, and then that means you confess your sin, and then you declare. What we see is that people do this, and then they go out about committing the same crime again, you know, and then you go and confess. You can see how this is just really, uh, uh, people just doing what they want really, like, rather than doing what is right? What is the key here is that uh, the ability to include it in, into one's way of life, of being able to take stock of, you know, where you, where you come from, where you are, and where you're going. That is who we are as Ifaila people. We, 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 we just do. We just are, we just be, we just Ella. And getting to reading with time because everything is really a reading. You know, that's who we are as an African. We read it. We just do, we treat each other with that reading. You know, we 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 don't particularly talk a lot about things or 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 separate things or or just try to you know, make ourselves as if we know more than nature ourself. We just, we just read them, we just, you, you know, we just treat each other with respect. That's what we do. According to Ifaila Ministry, uh, the creator of heaven and earth and everything in it is perfect. 
precisely what is written by the Creator is not a concept by man. This is real. So, and the reference to that directly is the source of life that keep on giving us life, which is Omi, Omiela, Omila, Omi, you know, river. Yeah, so, so, and with that, you can even, it, it, it's not difficult to find how Omi, meaning water, renew us as people all the time. So, by connecting to that as the one with nature that we are, as African people, as Ella people, it is not difficult for you to grasp the importance of living a life of renewal. Meaning you really have to take stock. Instead of saying confession, the important is to take stock I made it uh, a decision today to talk about confession because I'm having to um, take stock of my life. I guess to me I've done it, but obviously when you know your family are telling you that uh, yes you are, you still need to do more of that. That's what make it an evident that you don't take stock of your life now and then. You don't. Again, it is part of how a person renew and make sure they stay in their light. So I find that I, I had to do the same and doing that to me was uh, taking uh, stock of my life as I've always thought I've done. But obviously you can't do too much of self-cleansing. It is a way of life. It is everyday conscious consciousness that you know will deter uh, any corruption that may be you know lurking around energetically that you may not know about. And I know this subject is a little bit sensitive, but I, I know it's important that I talk about it. It's part of my self cleansing that I'm hoping is going to help lots of other ladies out there to do the same. What I'm saying in practicality is that write down all the names of every woman or every man that you've ever engaged with sexually and then you set them free. That's how you set yourself free. A life here to every one of us, now and always. Photogram comedy. Photogram comedy. <laughs> what do we have in photogram comedy today? See, I'm reasoning with I'm rhythming with nature. I'm dancing. I'm swinging with the wind. Come dance with me. <laughs> photogram comedy. Photogram comedy. Today we are going to photogram comedy. Science. Photogram comedy. Science of language. As African people, I hope you remember. You just have to remember. I know you have love for Godzilla. The scientist that you are. You build a helicopter, you build plane, you build car. <laughs> Start to remember. Photogram comedy. <laughs> Science of language. Something just came to me and I was thinking, something just came to me. Then I started to think, ah, enemy. What does that mean? What does enemy means? Enemy. 
Any me. We all know what enemy means, Abby. What do you mean to you? Some people will say, I thank all my enemy because before, <laughs> without them, I will not be where I am today. I say, enemy, enemy. The Bible will go know what I am. If they start to catch this joke of mine, <laughs> you will become. The real scientist that you are, like seriously, <laughs> you will find out people are just like they're a mess. <laughs> enemy, enemy. Come on, people. When some people say enemy, in more than south, in the fire ministry, there's no enemy. Of course. I have every authority to decide who come to my house. The universe made that a possibility. It has nothing to do with any man or any people, any human being or any body. My house is my own house. Even if I gave it to me, you don't have access to it. So, you say enemy now. There's no enemy. You never like ministry, no enemy. Why did I say that? Ah, think Anna. Any me, any me, Timini, any me, Timini. Don't go busy yourself with this enemy palaver. Nobody needs it. Let enemy be enemy to themselves. Any me, any me, oh good. Any me, oh good. They oh good. Can you not see Ogun there for there? Oh good. Can you not see God there for there? When you say, oh good. See words. When you get it, you're not going to be too much of a, a word person really. You'll be too much of an uh, of a, 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 a purposeful person, a, a, a creative person. You know, numbers and symbols are very important. They are very solid, stable. But words, hmm. science of language. Enemy, enemy, oh good. Enemy, no enemy. <laughs> enemy, no enemy. Enemy, oh good. Enemy, oh good. <laughs> we no get enemy. We don't do enemy. Any, any, oh good. Then you can say any, meaning one. See how we as Africans don't have any choice because it's our culture. It's possible and it's going to be possible and it is done. We are one. Celia.